Hello, I am Rose and welcome to my channel, The Crafty Rose. Today's class will be about shakers. Shakers. This is the inspiration for today's class. It was this scrapbook page that I did for my daughter when she was very little. Um, like, uh, shaker is um, this half moon, crescent moon, have very little things I can shake. Um, I put just cotton for the the clouds. Well, shaky boxes can be made of out of lots of different things. Yes, um, here is for a birthday card. Um, the balloons. I made a template. You know me and my templates for the balloon and the opening for the shaker. You see? And this one is just a common rectangle. And then this is like a flower. There are many things that you can use for the top of your shaker box. Here is um, acetate. Here is just a plastic from a um, package of stamps. And this is tool. So it's um, very uh, fun, fairly easy at the dollar store. I found this one that's um, is lots of one for the doll dollar store. This is the colors. This is kind of like rainbow. This one is um, white with uh, sparkling. And I uh, found this yesterday when I went to the dollar store. This is a blue. This uh, season, I'm uh, filming this at the beginning of March, it's the um, Easter is coming soon. So for when Easter is coming, this, this tool will come at the dollar store in lots of different pastel colors. I, I saw yesterday white, pastel, yellow, blue, um, pink, all these different kinds of tools. And this one is a little bit from the other ones because this one, as you may see, the weaving is smaller. It's smaller and very, very uh, small. So um, sequins or rhinestones or beads um, won't go, um, won't just spill. It's just very good and that is sealed. So if you have a, a opportunity, go to your closest dollar store or discount store and check if you can find the tool. Yes, the tool, as you can see in this card, here. It, um, because all the rhinestones and sequins are smaller than the weaving of the tool, then you can put anything you want. Here, um, I wouldn't recommend for little beads because it might, it might come out. Okay. Then the other one is this one, it's a more rectangle. Um, but I did this from a page protector. Um, those that you uh, commonly have on, on projects that you may be in the binder. I use the, that plastic. It, it doesn't stretch as well as others, but in just if, if you want and that's what you have available, then you can use it. And these, these were acetate, but this acetate that I have here is what comes with um, a package of um, stamps. You see, if you have a, a package of stamps, you can use two things. You can use the packaging, this packaging that, that comes with the stamps. Just come with this, the stamp, you can use it, but the stamps, they come 
with two acetates. They come with one that they have the reading and the information of the stamp, and then another one that comes on top. This one you can use for shaker boxes um, because it would be good to have, right? But it's not necessary for the stamps. Just put it back in the package and I still have the, the acetate that came with it. Now, in order for us to use it, you should um, clean, I, clean, I recommend cleaning with a stamp solution if you have it. No, you can use a Windex or any other similar a cleaning product. It's just clean for both sides and it would be perfect for our shaker boxes. So have those options in mind. You see these are the ones, a piece of the one that I use for the balloons. Um, also, yes, this is all the, another kind of wrapping that comes. It's a little bit thicker, but you can use it. And um, for this, this one is that um, I bought the um, pages for an album and then the album was smaller so I had to cut this. So these are opening on both sides so it will be difficult for me to use it in an album. It can be done if I kind of like with the sewing machine seals one side. But this is also good for for a shaker. Just different options. You have to play with it and verify what works for you. If um, whatever you have available, just check if it works. If it works, perfect. It won't make it yours. And you just can just go with whatever material you have on hand. out of the way and start with our first project okay this first project this here. No, this is not for, this is right. okay here I cut a star from the Big Sean machine. And then the base where I cut the star is, is there. And then on the top, I put the star in, in another twist place. So it would be kind of like a trick on the eyes. And then I just stick the tool on there. You see, the tool is directly to the paper. Okay, now we are going to cut all the tool that is um, outside the, the edge of the card. And this is the base of the card. I know it's a little messy. But what is a craft table with no mess? mess. Yeah, like my husband says, this corneal mind is a control chaos. <laughs> yeah. There. Perfect. Okay. Now let's check here. This is the base for the shaker, and then this goes here because there's a little margin. It goes glued to the card. Okay, but for now, it's going to work with this. Okay. It's on the back. It's going to glue it. You have to have into consideration that this needs room to shake, right? 
this uh, tape that we have, the width, um, the dimension of the tape, not the width, sorry, the dimension of the tape is very narrow. If you're gonna use this kind of tape, you have to double it, use it twice, one on top of the other, right? If, for example, you are using this um, dot that is foam, they are also thin, and you may use, you have to use two. But if you are using this one, these ones, the width of them, it's really good. The problem is that it's so small, and you have to cover all around the star. It would just, the space between them can be a little bit separated, and then we cannot, the beads go out. So what I would recommend better is this tape, double. So we just cut about this right then we just cut it in half right because we don't need that uh, width so wide right because we are cutting around so we just glue this in this Okay, here we have to be sure that the sides are touching each other so there is no room for the beads to, to go, to fall off, right? So in these intersections, here, here, here on the other sides, we need to be sure that they are touching. So no beat or no shaker would just go out. Okay. I know this is kind of tedious for you. I'm trying to show you the process specifically whatever goes to make a card like a shaker card and it would be easier for you to follow my steps if I do it like this you can just stop and rewind a part if um, you think you are stuck and you can always uh, send me an email or post a comment. I check this daily, um, twice or three times a day. And just send me uh, a comment or an, an email and I will be glad to answer all the questions that you may have. And not only about shakers, you can ask me whatever you want about whatever you want in a craft. As I said in the introduction, I love all crafts all crafts and I am preparing um, a class will be embroidery and I'm going to do embroidery um, on a card and embroidery on a canvas that that would be really nice I found yesterday's uh, canvas that are six by nine I think perfect size so um, yeah I'm going to add a canvas Okay, so um, any questions about any craft, and I'll be glad to answer.
course there could be a, a way for you if you want this class to get all the materials and the glue and tools that you need before the class so you can follow me this step by step but you will be having a class touches you and me if you win the really good nice giveaway that we have when we reach a hundred uh, subscriptions a hundred followers yes if we have a hundred then I'm going to do a giveaway between all those 100 and whoever gets the prize can have one hour with me I'm going to teach you how to use that tool that, that you got and if you have any other questions yeah there I will be glad to answer It takes a little time, but the result is beautiful. And I um, guarantee you that the person who receives it will love it. And this gimmick that is just a shaker it will be a novelty that they will appreciate. And you will appreciate it even more knowing that you made it. So we are going to put it on here. It's very important. Maybe because we don't need this, we can put it close here so it won't fray a lot. And at least when it frays, it will be on the back. out of frame I don't know about you but me when I do crafts I just immerse myself completely I'm sure when I'm going to do craft all day I just put a stew or a chili in the slow cooker so I know I'm sure that my family will have some food when they come from their various activities and I can relax doing my crafts. See, this hair comes up to here because okay. Because we're going to make the star, and the star is has dimension. We need to put dimensions as well on the other parts of the shaker, right? So we need to put glue a tape in there, so. Let me 
good tape here. Just a little sliver. Oh, here the one. Let's use it. Here. Okay. Now, here comes the funny part. We're going to put this around here, right? No, <clears throat> sorry, because we're going to put here, we're going to put the things to shake around here. So, we're going to take a pencil and make a mark here and make a mark here. Okay, so, these are the narrowest of the card, right? So we put the mark here and a mark here, more or less here. Don't, don't mind this um, pencil marks, you will not see it because it will be inside, okay? We cover by the, the shaker. Okay. So here. Put um, some rhinestones. This has to be big enough so they can be seen through the tool, right? It has glue on the back. Just very stubborn to take out. Oh, you just stars. Yes, I think I'm. Ones to come out. So here we're gonna use the blue rhinestone so we can also do some like this. So we're going to put all the rhinestones here first. Sorry, if I move the sequence. And this is what you're going to shake a bit. Now, with the blues. Get mm. I'm going to tell you a secret regarding these stars. These stars are made from foil paper. The heavy duty foil, aluminum foil, that is very thick. If you have a punch from a star, you can use it. That's what I use. Oh. 
Ini sembulu. Do you think I have enough? <laughs> Gotta be careful because the rhinestones, the little beads, um, can. This would be so pretty. You can do this card without the shaker, just the stars, and it would be a perfect masculine card. Don't put a shaker and the colors for white and blue and red. You can never go back with the red, white, and blue. It would be a, a great masculine card for a birthday or graduation. Father's Day. Oh, I made a Father's Day card. You have to check it at the beginning of May, I think. So, um, it's a very cute origami. It's good. I'm sure. Sometimes it's good when I reach like um, a little hiccup, a problem, and you see me solving it, and then you know that you can do it when, if you ever get into the same one. See? sentiment put the sentiment here
So it will just slip back. That's why you can't do it. The way you can't do it. Yeah. And that will be all for today's class. Thank you for being with me and sharing this time with me. If you have any questions, as always, uh, comment regarding the class or just to say hello, please leave a comment down below. And if you like our content, please uh, subscribe, like the video, and hit notifications so you can know every time we hit a new class. Classes are Tuesdays are cards and Fridays are mini albums. Okay. Thank you for being here and as always, stay crafty.